The moment when time and space began, the beginning of everything, was known as the Big Bang. From entire galaxies to microscopic particles, everything we can see, touch and smell began within this moment. Come with us on an adventure across the cosmos as we discover the formative past and the potential futures of our universe and everything it contains. When the dinosaurs were around, there were no people on Earth. They lived millions of years ago. The word dinosaur comes from the Greek word meaning terrible lizard, although dinosaurs actually aren't lizards at all. Sir Richard Owen named them this when he found the first dinosaur bones. Paleontologists like Sir Richard Owen dig up and study dinosaur bones as a job. Pretty cool, right? Would you like to be a paleontologist when you grow up? Well, you see, the idea is to make the beast think we're already dead, right? It's called playing dead. Dogs do it all the time. So it might have looked like I was napping during my guard duties, but I was actually playing dead because I thought I heard the beast coming. It's a win-win, like killing two birds with one stone. Although I will admit, the snoring might have given me away. Did you know that 69% of all your social interactions end with someone thinking about how bad your breath is? OK, we made that statistic up, but no one wants to stand and chat about the weather, sports or movies with a peg on their nose. Ice Blast Extra smashes on the scene and eradicates bad breath at the source. Minty freshness to keep you at your bestest. Claudia knew that she could never pull off the old-fashioned kind of running away. That is, running away in the heat of anger with a knapsack on her back. She didn't like discomfort. Even picnics were untidy and inconvenient. All those insects and the sun melting the icing on the cupcakes. Therefore, she decided that her leaving home would not be just running from somewhere, but would be running to somewhere. To a large place, a comfortable place, an indoor place and, preferably, a beautiful place. And that's why she decided upon the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City.